John, uh, first pre-season game and a really entertaining, interesting and quite pacey game of football. Yeah, very much so. A right good test for us, and exactly what we needed. You know, we've had two weeks of hard training, really hard training, and we were maybe a little bit sluggish in the first half, which maybe to be expected with the amount of work that we've done. Uh, but that's what happens in pre-season. You know, you're trying to cram an awful lot into a very short period of time. So disappointing to go behind such a cheap goal for us. You know, a free kick and a free header in the box, really, really poor. You know, so. No happy about that, obviously. None, it never happen when you lose a, 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 a very, very cheap goal from a set play where you just running them all ball into the box, you know. Uh, poor. However, uh, that gave uh, Stranraer a, a situation where upon they could uh, sit a little bit deeper and uh, it meant that we were having to go and try and break them down, which I thought we, 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 we did on a few occasions. We managed to get through them. We just didn't quite get a finish or the goalkeeper made a save. So it was a little bit frustrating, which is what they tried to do. They tried to frustrate us. I thought they, they played really well. Uh, they passed the ball quite well. We were a little bit passive. We could have been a little bit more aggressive, which we did in the second half. But there was still some, some decent play in the first half. Just uh, didn't, didn't quite get the main product. Jamie McDonald had a, had a, a save as well in the first half. So it was, it was uh, a right wee test and a, a, and a challenge for us at that point in time, you know, for our first game. You know, there's only like five players playing for last season. There were six changes in the team. There's a lot of the guys there hadn't played very much football in the second half of the season, like Dario hadn't played down at air very little. Keats had very little football at Inverness. Aidan Connolly was out with an injury towards the end of the season. Yeah, the trialists hadn't played for a long, long time. So, you know, you've got all these guys playing the first game of football in months. You know, not just the close season. I'm talking months, you know. So I don't think it was ever just going to go and uh, click, you know. So... We needed to respond, so we made a very, very slight tactical change at half-time and uh, we managed to get down the sides of them and we got some great crosses in and I'm delighted that uh, we've got Aidan Connolly getting into that back post here because we're always out of wide players to get into these areas and that's the type of goal that we... That I personally, I like, I like the goals, you know, because you work on them all the time, we work on that all the time and it's part of what we want to do. Uh, so a great ball in and then Louis was really sharp, really, really sharp, uh, on the first ball across, he's got in front of the defender, got a nick on it, set off the bar, the balls came out, we managed to get it out the other side, and when it's coming, Louis Vaughan's the one who's in there. So he was razor sharp to get on the end of that cross. So well, within seven minutes of the second half, we were 2 1 up. Uh, we've scored from a free kick. You know, Brad gets in at the back post, a really, really good ball in by, by uh, James Keatons, who I thought showed a lot of great touches today. You can see he's a threat, you can see he's going to score goals. He didn't get one today, and I know he's a little bit disappointed. But during training, during the week, I mean, this is for his, uh, his wife's benefit. He does actually come to the training. Uh, I missed him out during the week, so I apologise. He actually does come, you know. So uh, he, uh, he, uh, he's one of the best finishers I've seen, you know, in training. One of the best finishers I've worked with. Yeah, his finishing is absolutely different class. So there'll be goals to come for There'll be going to be goals to come for him. Uh, he can only benefit from the game today. Um, and then young Keenan Mitchell coming on and, and getting a goal. So delighted for all the young guys. I mean... Greg Young at 17 years of age playing the whole game at left back today Liam Dick took an injury during the week uh, had a collision with Regan Tumulty in training on Tuesday and we thought he was going to be alright but it just never really cleared up in enough time and there was no, no point pushing him into the game I mean if it was the Scottish Cup final of the day he would have played but it wasn't and it was a pre-season friendly there was no point rushing him in and Sod's Lawyer would have got another knock on it and knocked him back a week or two so I'm sure he'll be okay for, uh, for Tuesday but once again you know, the young lads showed that he could go in there Hold his on by, you know, no stretch of imagination. I thought he did really, really well. And gained in confidence as the game went on. Uh, really, really pleased with, with him. And at the end, you know, it's a very, very young team we've got in the park. You know, really young team. Uh, and great credit to the Fife Elite. You know, a lot of good, good players in there who've come through that system. So, really, really delighted for, uh, for all the young guys, for everyone connected with the Fife Elite, where these guys have came through. They've, they've done a really good job with them. You mentioned James, I'm going to come back to him because I read it of a longer interview through the week, Miss James out. We'd yeah. been chatting off Mike quite a bit about how excited we were to see him play, but another dimension to his, uh, his play is this delivery from set pieces. Yeah. He's, he's happy to drop off and, and be the one that puts a quality ball into the box. He's, he's an exciting addition. Very much so, yeah. He is, uh, he's got great delivery. Uh, so we have him with his left foot delivery, Louis Vaughan with his right foot delivery. Uh, then we've got two players and each of them, if we can get a free kick at the edge of the box, they both carry a massive threat. You know, we... we Every Ray Throwers fan knows how good it Louis is with free kicks. Well, Keaton's never about as good with his left foot. So, you know, if we can get free kicks on about the edge of the box, you know, I can see us scoring, you know, two or three goals from that from that position. So, yeah, delighted, 
with him with his workout today he can only benefit a good 70, 72 minutes or so when he, when he came off the park and as I say he's not played for a long time so he can only benefit from that so we, we up the stakes on Tuesday night with regards to you know that was a, a League 2 team we're going to play Clyde a League 1 team and again purposely these, these, these games have been put in place purposely you know we're going to play County Beath who are League 2 we're going to play Allo who are League 1 and so we're playing a League 1 and then in between the two games we're going to play Hibs uh, we've got a, a game against Dundee United away from home so that'll be a step up which we're looking at to play Livingston in the, in the League Cup so again we have that game we have the game against us for Ian Davison's testimonial so that'll prepare us for the Livingston game uh, so you know the, the, the pre-season games that we've got and the games you know, building up to the first league game of the season are all very good games and uh, today's a, a, nice wee, a nice wee start for us Despite injuries that you've mentioned and the fact that you're still in the process of building a squad, you're, you're never afraid of putting the young boys in there. If we think back to this time last year and, and how they represented themselves at the pre-season games, yeah. but uh, you know, maybe the exception of our centre half, uh, the outfield players, the average age must be frightening yeah. the young uh, towards the end. But each of them showed their competence in their their, their particular uh, area of the field. What, what can you tell us about these young lads? Yeah, well, I mean, again. Uh, due to the pandemic, youth football was stopped, you know. Uh, with the likes of Quinn, Aaron, Big Luke Mahadi and Kyle Bow, these four guys trained with us continuously through that period. But as we know, they didn't get much game time. So the Fife Elite guys were, were worse off because they couldn't train. They only got back maybe towards the end of April or so in April and they started to play games in May. So myself and Paul went along to a game there against Motherwell we like to look at Kieran Mitchell. We saw the the video footage of their game against Park at Thistle. We liked what we saw again. We asked him to come in. He, he looked very good in training, and we, we you know he's a striker. He was at Hearts previously. We got good you know references from Hearts regarding him, and we've taken him as a scholar. And I was delighted with the goal that he scored, and we've been delighted the way he's trained. Greg Young for him, what a great opportunity to, to, to play you know, beside Crystal Berra. He's got 40, 41 caps or so for, for Scotland and he's playing beside him today, you know. Uh, so again, very similar. We're gonna ask watching his games. We invited him in this week, he's trained with us this week. So, you know, what a great week he's had. He's been training with us all week, pre-season training, hard work, and uh, you know, equipped himself really, really well, really well. So our Narna, 17. He came on and played beside uh, Brad in the, in the central midfield area, and that's you, you know you know I, I've got high hopes for him. You know I've got high hopes for Aaron. You know uh, bits and pieces of games obviously got to got to develop. You know, that, that's what we're here to do, and that's what we we try to do. And uh, again, Quinn Quinn had opportunities at this time last year, and he actually scored uh, goals against Falkirk, and he maybe scored a goal maybe against Berwick, and was, uh, he got he got one or two goals in the pre-season friendly games. I mean, these guys, unfortunately, uh, you know, our ambition, maybe just, you know, to try and get up the promotion, these guys kind of suffered a little bit because we brought a lot of players in. It meant that these guys didn't get as much game time as they might have done, but we were, we were going for it, and I, I don't think that's, that's uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So these guys are getting an opportunity now. A uh, big look went on today. We got, uh, you know, he's a big, strong boy. He's got pace. And uh, again, they, they can only benefit. Uh, they, they train every day with the first team guys they'll, they'll look at every sort of video analysis session we've got and uh, I go back to Kieran Bowie he learnt so much coming in and looking at Kevin Nisbet and on the video analysis we can go back to him many many times talking with Kevin when we're doing video analysis saying are you listening again are you listening again you're taking us on board you know and it's the same for Big Luke you know they've got to be taking everything on board you know they're maybe not always playing in games but they should be taking every bit of information on board and they should be trying to go out and implement that in training so I'm sure they will go away for here today quite happy that they've played their part. We obviously had um, some of our much missed fans in as well, but we also yeah. had the kind of friends and family of uh, some of the players as well, particularly yeah. special I guess for Kieran Mitchell who uh, you know, really composed a nice finish. I'm sure that's one that Paul Smith would uh, enjoy in particular, but uh, sure you know the, the presence of these people in the stands has been missed across all fronts, hasn't it? Yeah, very much so, yeah, and I'm sure it was great to see the fans in the stadium and we were delighted with the, uh, you know, the reaction when the players went across before the game, it was we went to that end purposely, obviously because the fans were there. We we know our own fans are down the bottom, the other end, but you know they, they all went up there, and uh, you know we're delighted to have the fans back. Thank thank you very much, everyone that came along today. We appreciate that. We appreciate you buying the season tickets, and of course you know hopefully there's a bit of time yet, yeah, a month before the season can kind of starts before 
you know, you, hopefully there's more season tickets to be bought. We, we really, really appreciate that. And and uh, if you can, you know, uh, you know, if you can go and get a season ticket, all, 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 all the better for everyone. Uh, some good football getting played here. And I'm sure you enjoyed it watching the television last year. So, yeah, I mean, uh, delighted for the fans to be back in. Uh, it's been a long time. And hopefully they enjoyed the game. We'll catch up with you after the closed door game on Tuesday against Clyde. Thanks, John. Great, David. Thank you.